Hi everybody, it's me Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my subscribers who have been with me for a while. I appreciate your support of this channel and I hope you enjoy this video. Happy Independence Day everybody. I have been invited to participate in a 4th of July Independence Day DIY collaboration by Liz Thrifty Fifty and Beth Beth's Beauty and More here on YouTube and it's a great group of women who are um, get, bringing you DIY 4th of July um, projects and I will list everybody at the end of this video and also down in the description box so that you can go and check out everybody's great DIY videos for you. The terms of the collaboration were that it had to be under $10 and all the in, uh, supplies had to come from the Dollar Tree. So that made it super simple and super fun. So I'm going to bring you a super easy DIY that you can use at for your parades or for picnics or to go see the fireworks and it's just something fun for the littles and your older kids that you may have at your functions or events. So thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video. I hope that you enjoy it and don't forget to check out everybody that is participating in the DIY. Okay, so the supplies that you will need for this DIY are, you will need some of the star garland from the Dollar Tree. This comes in 25 foot um, sections, so you could get multiple items out of one single package. You will also need ribbon. You can use curling ribbon in patriotic colors or you can use the metallic ri curling ribbon in patriotic colors and you'll need however many spools of that and you will also need scissors to cut the ribbon and cut the uh, garland to the proper length. Okay, so you're going to want to take the paper hanger off of this and you're going to want to unravel it and you're going to determine how many pieces that you want to go around and you're going to measure the head of the little or yourself and determine how much around you want it to go and it's just going to sit on your head kind of like a um, headband or a halo um, and then that way you'll know how much. I use three um, three rounds of it and this makes a pretty good um, halo and then you want to cut this off, cu cut it off of this and then just use the wire and just twist it around so that it stays together and that's what it's going to look like. So it's going to kind of look like a triple headband kind of a thing and you'll be able to get quite a few out of a 25 foot length. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, so you're going to open up your curling ribbon and you're going to cut two lengths of each color um, and two of the red, two of the silver, and two of the blue or whatever colors that you use and I cut one yard lengths so I have two one yard lengths of the red, two one yard lengths of the blue, and two one yard lengths of the silver. And these will be the streamers on the um, hanging off of the headband. On to the next step. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take each ribbon, each pair of col colors, two ribbons of each color, and you want to put them together and then you just want to tie them onto the halo. Um, each color at a time. So I took the two red and tied them at the same time. I took the two blue and tied them at the same time. And I took the two silver and tied them at the same time. And then you will get streamers that are hanging off of the halo like that. So that'll be fun. So let's move on to the next step. 
Okay, for this step, we're going to take the bow for the back of the halo, and this is going to be very, very simple, and I'll show you how to do it. It's just basic um, back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a about a one inch length, one yard length of each color of the ribbon, and these this is going to form our bow for the halo. These would be great at picnics, these would be great for a 4th of July parade, or even if you were to go to a carnival, or the fireworks, or something like that, and make them ahead of time, and then have everybody um, wearing one. Um, it'll be a fun way to just kind of um, identify everybody, and that way you will know that um, you know who's in your group and who's not. And I guarantee you, if you make these and you wear these out to a function or a parade, that you will have people walking up to you asking you where you have bought these. Um, and you can just tell them that they were made and that they're super simple and share it with somebody and start a conversation. So we have taken a one yard length of each color of our ribbon. I also cut a smaller length and this is going to tie off the bow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take take the ribbon and just set it next to each other like this. Make sure that the ends are fairly even. They don't have to be perfectly even, but fairly fairly lined up. And then we're just going to start making the bow. And you're just going to pinch like that and then you're just going to take your ribbon and go back and forth. And that's all it is. It's just making loops back and forth. Now, if you want a bigger, more loops, then you would cut a longer length of ribbon. And if you wanted less loops, then you would cut a shorter length of ribbon but it's always fun to have a nice big bow in the back. So you want to make sure that you cut your um, cut your ribbons long enough. Okay, so we've made the bow. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take our length of shorter ribbon and we're going to use it to wrap around the bow and we're going to pull it tight so that it bows out like that. We're going to pull it and then we're just going to tie it. This is where it gets tricky because you have to pull it. Sometimes you got to use your teeth, which is not a good thing. And then you just pull it tight. And then you can just fray out fray out the pull the ribbons out like this so that it makes a bow fun like that. Okay? Then you want to take your halo that has the ribbon streamers tied on it already and you want to take your bow and you just want to place it where the streamers are and turn it around like this and you want to find the two tails where you used it to tie on to tie the bow together and you want to wrap that around the halo like that and then you want to find the other one and wrap it in the opposite direction so that it stays straight put it on the halo like that and then you want to tie that and you can do a knot to make sure that it stays secure um, you know, and doesn't the, the bow doesn't come off if you if you would like to. But if you tie them tight enough, they should stay on pretty well. So, and then you're just going to tie it like that, and the bow is on, just like that. And then you can just take your loops of your bow and just pull them so that they open up and there you go. 
Now you can clip, you can see we have some we have some longer tails, so you can clip those if you'd like to, if any of them stick out. But that's it. There it is. That is your 4th of July Independence Day Halo. And it's a lot of fun to um, have for the littles or for the girls in the group. Or you can also do these for birthday parties. You can buy the birthday stars in different colors and um, make one for everybody. So that's how easy it is to make a um, event halo. I'm going to call it an event halo because you can definitely, um, you know, personalize this to the event. If you wanted to do birthdays, if you wanted to do bachelorette party, um, you know, that would be really fun too. If you wanted to do a, this for a craft for a sleepover, I mean, it's super simple, super easy, and very, very economical. All you need is a pack of the um, star garland or really any kind of garland that you can find that is wired. You just need some curling ribbon and you would need a pair of scissors. And it is just super cute and you know it'll just be a nice little keepsake of the day and something fun and patriotic to wear um, you know during the event or to the event and it could be, um, you know, a craft setup that you had at your event um, and let the littles do it or let everybody make their own. It's just super, super simple. And, you know, it's just, it's just fun. It's fun to have something, um, you know, patriotic to wear. So it would definitely be good for uh, this coming 4th of July. So I will leave everybody's all the other collaborators, I will leave their names at the end of this video and also down in the description box below. I would like to thank Liz and Beth very, very much for asking me to participate in this collaboration. I wish everybody a happy 4th of July and let's all celebrate Independence Day. Thanks for stopping by.